If you're a creative, entrepreneur, influencer, or aspiring to be any of those, maybe you're wondering whether you should create videos. <laughs> Hi, um, the answer is yes, agreed. You should definitely be making videos, but should you start a YouTube channel? Now that's a good question. I know, which is why in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you should be on YouTube and how to start that YouTube channel in 2021. Creating videos is so important for your brand. It builds authority, it increases your visibility, and it positions you as a leader in whatever area you focus in and you're passionate about. But having a YouTube channel can create a living, breathing visual portfolio that gives you a feedback loop with an audience and real-time data. Now, these are all really great reasons for anyone who wants to grow as a creator, as a thought leader, but personally, should you be on the platform? Beginners approach me or people who are just starting to think about YouTube, they often ask me questions about what does YouTube do? How is it uh, helpful for my business or for my brand? And so I want to do a little bit of demystifying by breaking this up into very bite-sized beginner pieces. And I think that can really help you, even if you already have been creating for a while, to take a look at some of these best practices and see, am I doing the most that I possibly can out of my YouTube channel? Now, I don't believe there is a one size fits all when it comes to video content, but there are a few important questions you have to ask yourself, what season of life are you in? A lot of times we put way too much on our plate and we're not really honest with ourselves about what we can handle. YouTube is a huge commitment. And if you are going to be sustainable on this platform, you have to decide for yourself, for your family, for your finances, what kind of time and energy you can give to something like this. YouTube really is about the long haul. It's about putting in work for now to hopefully reap the benefits later. There's no shame in making sure that you prioritize other areas of your life, your business, your desires, your hopes, your dreams before committing to something like YouTube. But if you do decide to commit to YouTube, it's an incredible task and resource to grow you as a thought leader and to grow you as a creative, which is why I am all in on YouTube and I really encourage others, if they're going to do it, to do the same. The second question is, what are your personal and professional goals? Now, this question really has a lot more to do with those of us who want to be full-time content creators. A few years back, that wasn't even a, a possibility, but now people are making full-time livings and businesses by being video makers. And I think that if you decide at the beginning what you really want out of YouTube, then that will really help you decide the trajectory of your work. So once you decide if you want this to be a hobby, if you want to be this to be a full-time business, or if you want to scale into even further areas of your career as a creator, that will really help you determine how much work and the type of strategy you're going to implement doing YouTube. And I am currently in the stage where I treat YouTube as a business. It is not just a hobby for me. It is not just a fun pastime, although I do enjoy it, but it's something that I'm really hoping to turn into future opportunities and into future entrepreneurship goals. So decide for yourself, what are my personal and professional goals? And that will help you know whether YouTube is right for you. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video so far, can I trouble you to just hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you along for the ride as we grow as creators. Now, the third question is, do you want to grow as a creator and as a person? YouTube is really about character development. And I know that's not really a popular opinion. You won't hear people talking about that. You'll just hear about how much fun it is and how amazing of an experience it is to meet other creators. But I truly believe that making video content is about constant stretching. You are submitting yourself to grow and to fail on a regular basis. And that's not a bad thing. Failure really helps you find yourself and find your voice as a creator. And the biggest thing that we can possibly do to stand out in a very saturated, with a lot of people who want a lot of attention is to find our voice and to be unique 
on this platform? Do you truly want to grow? And if you don't, maybe there's another social media platform or another space that would help you kind of scratch that itch of making content before you get to somewhere like YouTube, where you're really going to be face to face with your growth goals and whether you're attaining them. Myself, along with my friend and video creator, Chris E. Lewis, are starting True Fam Media, which is our new collective for Christian creators. And you might be asking yourself, what is a true fam? Well, as people of faith, true family is what happens when we all commit to build in the context of community. It's about our desire to do life together and increase our skills as video makers. And I would like to invite you to a free live stream training on Saturday, February 20th at 1230 PM, where you can meet the team and learn about our core values, including creativity, connection, and of course, community. And though we will be rolling out with our beta accountability groups in April, 2021, I could not be more excited for these free trainings as we will be teaching the mindset, the character and the process for the Christian creator. And so you can actually sign up right now using this link, truefammedia.com slash free training. And I will see you guys there. Bye now.